Welcome back. This is part two of the stock returns calculation series. In the first part, we calculated stock returns for each stock using the group by method of pandas. And the, we'll continue with the same exercise. If you haven't covered the first part, I would suggest that you go back and watch the earlier, the, the first video in this series. In this part, we are going to convert the daily returns into monthly returns. For converting the daily returns into monthly returns, we can either use the price method or we can use the uh, one plus return multiplied by one plus return of the second period and so on and so forth. That is called the product method. For the product method, uh, we need to create, uh, first of all, a new variable where we will add uh, one to the returns. So let's start doing that. Let's go back to our uh, Jupyter Notebook. At this moment, our data frame is IND and it looks like uh, this where there are seven columns the ret return was created in the earlier step from the uh, closing share prices okay to re-emphasize let me type the the text for monthly returns we need first of all monthly debt uh, we can extract monthly debt from the debt time object using the DT method of pandas library as mentioned earlier our first variable is debt which is in the date time format and if you are not sure in which format your variable is you what you can do is to type the data frame name ind and then type info and the type of this specific variable is date time so we already have the variable in the required format. We will use a lower method of the date time uh, methods. The lower method is dot dt and dot dt provides several options to convert the daily debt to weekly, to monthly or to yearly. In this case we need to convert it to monthly so our command is since we are creating a new variable we will type the data frame name and then type the name of the new variable let's call the new variable as mdat this mdat is equal to some processing of the existing variable that is dead. We are applying method of DT and this DT method has a sub method to period. And the period takes an argument of M which tells the command to convert or to extract the monthly debt from the debt variable. The new variable has been created and we can check it with the data frame dot head command. The new variable has been appended as a last variable in the data frame and here we can see that monthly debt has been derived.
as mentioned before, to convert the daily returns into monthly returns, we need to add one to the daily returns. Since this is, I haven't uh, given this section a specific name. Let's add some section name or heading to this new to this new exercise. So I would like to add uh, a new cell here. I cl click on the plus button and move this a bit further. Let's give it uh, number three, convert daily returns to monthly. And escape one will convert this into markdown cell and make it heading one, shift enter. To convert daily returns to monthly returns, our first step is 3.1. Our first step was to create a monthly date. So let's make it heading two with two hashes. Create monthly date. And Escape two. Let's move this heading a little uh, over here. Yes. Okay. Our second step in this specific process is to add one to the return variable and create a new variable. To create a new variable, we type the IND data frame name, then quotes and name of the new variable. We'll call this as red underscore one. And this will be equal to processing the existing variable. The existing variable name is RET, so I'm typing the name of that variable and I'm adding just one to it. So it should create a new variable. Let's confirm it. IND dot head. Yes, we have a new variable. It is just one plus the existing variable red. Our next step is to perform these, uh, to, to multiply the returns of uh, each company with one another. Uh, so again, we need to create a grouping variable, but this time our grouping variable is company symbol. And we need to do the multiplication within each month, therefore, our next grouping variable is monthly debt. So the grouping variable will be created by the combination of symbol and monthly debt. Let me type these for easy referencing. For each stock and month, we have to multiply one plus red and then deduct one at the end. This calls again for a grouping variable. This time the group is symbol and M debt. Since these are two variable, it will take a Python list. Let's create a grouping variable. Group is equal to IND. That is the data frame name. And then we apply the group by method to it. And if you remember from the previous lecture, since we are using two variable, we are typing a Python list that uses square brackets. And inside the brackets, we type the names of the variables. First variable is symbol. And the second variable is 
monthly rate m dot and we have to close the variable names in quotes this group object can now be used to perform calculations within group for for products we need to import the numpy library uh, and use its product function so i'm importing that library import numpy as np and now we can create the monthly returns we will call this new variable as mret so this uh, will be added to the existing data frame ind and name of the new variable mret is equal to uh, we are applying the method to rate one variable but this has to be done within each group so first of all we type group this variable this object was created here in line 17 and from there we take the rate one and here we also use a method called transform since <coughs> And then within the transform method, we use the NP uh, library and its function or method product. And we have to deduct minus one from it because uh, in earlier we added one to the returns. Here we added one. After the multiplication, we have to deduct one back. So let's correct the spelling error. It has to be product. Okay. And now if we check the data frame again, ind dot head, let's say we want to read 10 lines. Now the calculations were performed on monthly frequency for each form. Therefore, the monthly returns remains the same for each stock in a given month. When the month changes, for example, here till here it is first month of 2016, but at this point it is now uh, second month of 2016, and the return changes. So there are these are po possible duplicates, and we might like to remove the, these duplicates if we want to retain the data at a monthly frequency. We shall see that in the next video. For time being, wish you all the best.